Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to OD Pixel Cast Heralds. Um, a lot of people have been saying that they'd like to see me watch some low MMR Dota. So I, I found a quick replay, I found some Herald accounts, I, I loaded up a replay. I have no idea what the outcome is of this game. I did my best to sort of cover any spoilers whilst I loaded it. And uh, I really don't know what to expect. I'll be honest, I haven't watched a lot of low MMR Dota, so I really do not know what I'm in for. Um, apparently it's rather entertaining, uh, but we're going to do our best to cast this game and see what we have in store. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, this uh, exciting game between the Heralds and the Heralds. And uh, what do we have? What are the drafts? So, let's try and work out who's playing what and what's playing what. Uh, what's playing where. Uh, on the Radiant side, we have a Shadow Shaman. I'm guessing this is support. I'm guessing the... Uh, who's mid? Who's me? I... I don't know. I feel like, okay, we might have to just wait until the lanes have started before I know actually who's going where. Uh, over in the river. Oh, oh, that was unlucky. That was close. That was very close attempt there from the Veno. Doesn't get anybody there with the Gale. Unfortunate for... Oh, I think they, they want to go for this here. They're dire. CM and Clinks. They're chasing him down. He's up to the high ground. They, 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 the, the wraparound for the Witch Doctor and the tight That persistentness there. Beautiful persistence. Here from the die. That'll secure them first blood here for the tide. Alrighty. Well, what do we got? Top lane. We have Savage and Maga laning together here. The Enigma and the Wyvern. They're going to be laning against Chili Pepper and 4MMR. Nice Witch Doctor and Legion lane. Looks like the Legion's going to be planning on hitting the creeps. I guess they I guess they do have some sort of semblance of roles at this MMR. I don't know. Mid lane matchup. It's Last Dragon Tears of the Shadow Shaman against... Uh, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce his name. So we're just going to have to go, to go with Clinks. Um, and on the bottom lane, we have Black98 on the CM against, uh, well, alongside, uh, Julk on the Tide Hunter against Mid on the Veno and, uh, confusingly enough, a Viper on the PL. But that's cool to see. I guess this guy or girl loves Dota. They just name themselves as a Dota hero. So that's cool to see. Uh, and on this bottom lane, how normal is this? This is pretty normal. A pretty normal lane matchup down here. Got a PL carry. Fair no support. It's fine. I can accept that. Up against Tide on the off lane, who's backed up by CM's support. Uh, mid lane, Clinks against the Shadow Shaman. Well, let's have a look at some of these starting items, see what I think. Stand up. This, this is fine. Acceptable here from the Enigma. Bit of regen, bit of stats. Wyvern, the straight null. Oh, I missed a kill. Sorry, I missed a kill down there. Bottom lane, I've, this is going to be hard to keep up the kills. My camera work is not the best. Uh, we're going to see here. Good trade here between the two of them. Uh, that uh, the wife is gonna be happy with zoning the the the, uh, the witch doctor right back because he got some regen on him. Bless him. He's only got the brown boots at the moment. We'll see what his plan's gonna be. Or oh, it's gonna be get some mangoes out. I love it. Who needs? Hey, that's smart. Sorry, we're gonna watch this bottom lane because action's going on. They lost the Veno. Uh, the PL he's going for it. CM. Oh, he's gonna be able to hold it. Oh, nice use here. The CM spells holding back the PL. Another lance. The illusion. Not enough. The tide is away. Now the PL's taking a lot of... Oh, easy salve cancelled by the CM. Clariting up as well here, the CM. The CM's going to have another hold with the Frostbite soon. Can you get him rage? Oh, can't keep chasing for this. Don't give up. Don't... Oh, look. Blocking the camp. Checking for wards. Nice. Oh, ease courier. All right. This is going to be a hard fight for the CM to win. I see he really wants that PL. Ah, he got him. That's a mission success. May died, but he went in with the aim of frostbiting the PL, and he got it. He got it at the end of the day. Look at some of these other items. We've got the Legion, Quellen Blade Boots, Tangos. Like it. It's fine. Still, you hold on to the boot. Oh, yeah, getting the mangoes out, as we saw. He was like, you know what? I have a spell that I can use. I could turn mana into, into health. So he was like, I ain't buying any health regen. I'm just going to go all in on the mangoes. And honestly, I can respect that. That's the smart stuff. How's our mid lane looking? Nine for zero on the CS for the Shaman. And uh, 9 for 3 on the clink. So both equally sort of missing the same amount of CS. So some nice balance in the mid. Straight for the brown boots of the shaman. I can respect that. Look at this guy's right click anyway. Who needs stats? He's smart. He just wants movement speed. 84 right click. You don't need to waste money on stats. Clinks. Following a nice guide here. Two wraith bands. Not, they're, they're doing sensible things, honestly. All round so far here from the heralds. It's not looking bad. Vlad's rush for the tide. I like it. It's easy to play. You press anchor smash. You life steal. You get some of your health back. 
How's the CS going for two down here though? PL11 for one, Tide 5 for zero. Tide having a bit more of a struggle hitting the creeps. PL's having a you know an all right time. And then top lane, oh, the real winner of this landing stage has to be the Legion. And uh, plus, uh, the real loser has definitely got to be my observer. Uh, bottom lane, oh, sorry, I've got to apologize to the Tide really. He's 3 0 1. I think I missed all of his kills. But uh, there we go. It happens. It happens. 3 0 1. I mean, yeah, who needs to hit CS? Who needs to hit creeps when you're hitting heroes as well as they are doing down there by the dive? Very nicely done. Uh, what have we got going on here, Enigma? So we're just kind of chilling, a little bit AFK. Uh, Legion has decided to sort of leave the lane and just run down the, the Enigma. Well, it's around these, these rune timings, but Shaman, he's going to still be able to grab that for himself. Getting some stats still now after the boots, has the null. Nothing uh, too out of the ordinary here with these early build-ups. Good aggression onto the Verno. I mean, CM and Tide, they're, they're doing a... Ooh, not, not, not quite going to have him, but... They're, they're, they're playing aggressive. I really can respect that. As I said, the Tide's not really fussing too much about the creeps. They're just sort of seeing as a, as a duo when they can get aggressive. Top lane Wyvern's sort of been left to their, their own devices. But this is full efficiency for the Radiant. Enigma, a couple of points in the Eidolons. They know that they can go and hit the neutrals. Mid lane. Level 6 has been hit on the clinks. They need to have it on the shaman. We'll see if shaman's going to play aggressive. Put the pressure on the bottom lane. Poor old Venno. Yes, Venno's having a rough one. Four deaths down here. Tide, CM are just running over the Venno each and every time. Look out. Oh. Let's have a look. Aggression back onto the CM. I mean, Pierre will get the kill. Tide, he's got the gush. Use it. Uh, yes, he's in. Gush, Anchor Smash. This tied, ladies and gentlemen, 4 0 and 1. Crushing the heroes down on this bottom lane. 6 and 2 now for the Dyer. And now, yeah, 6 is hit. We'll see, uh, see if he wants to drop the wards for the for the tower, if he's going to look for an opportunity to maybe drop them on the Klinks. Klinks, he's got a point in the skeleton walk. Even having a sentry down here to take away some of the vision. So uh, Klinks actually uh, playing with some smart awareness around the vision game on this mid lane. Well, this is not not bad stuff. Tranquils for the Venno. Respect that. Treads on the, the PL, of course. We've got Arcane Boots done on the Enigma. Coming back to lane as well to help apply a bit more pressure onto the Legion. And Legion's build. He's already got a queued up. Blink. Blade Mail. Shard Aghanims. I like it. I like it a lot. Tide. Looks like he headed back to base there to, to quickly refresh. And yeah, after I said, picking up a few levels in the jungle, a bit of farm, Enigma you know, wants to, to to make sure that this lane isn't left totally free for the Dire. Or bottom, Clinks coming in with the rotation. Uh, looking for the PL under the tower again. The setup, the kill, it's there. Five zero one now for Tide, and this is all pre-Ravage. A couple more creep waves. Six is going to be online. And now, when, when, once the Tide has the Ravage, it's, ah, this bottom lane's a bit spooky for the Radiant. I love this. I love this aggression from Shaman. Pushing in on the mid. Dropping the Serpent Wards. And yeah, seven minutes in, doing this amount of damage to the tower. Y you can't complain here. This is some great pressure from the Shaman. Bottom. Or CM. May die, but may have just done enough. I say that though, they've got the Ravage. I mean, CM. Are they even going to die? No, they take out the ward. TP back to the base, but the PL's in. PL's having none of it. I Having mean, none of it. We will find the kill. But again, this sort of... <laughs> it's just stronghold of the bottom lane from Tide. It's continuing. It is continuing to the maximum. What about sixes? Six also online for the for the Legion. And the Witch Doctor, they're definitely going to have... You know, they're going to have some good damage to get some dual wins. Witch Doctor taking the lane for now as Legion will head to clear up the camp. Mm, good to see that the uh, Clinks was, uh, was starting to get mobile. We'll leave the... We'll leave his mid tower quite vulnerable. It's just a general right click push of the, the shaman as well, even when the serpent wards are down. What oh, DD clinks. <laughs> DD clinks could be nice. Now, you know he wants to go for something here with Simvis. Who's he gonna find? Who's he gonna get? I mean, bottom lane did go quite well last time. I think he's going to be appealed by the bottom lane. Still got a little bit left on the DD. 
Ah, yeah, he's just going to play it safe and far. I mean, passiveness, always going to be the safer option of this MMR. An Enigma? He's gone for the urn. I mean, this is... Honestly, I was maybe expecting a lot worse here from the Heralds. But uh, so far, so good. Maybe the sort of crazy stuff comes in after the guides, you know, that you sort of start to stray away from the guides starting, you know, suggestions. I think that's where we're, we're going to start to see the wild stuff. And PL's got the Diffusal queued up. After the Vlads, going for the Arcanes, but, you know, going back for the Arcanes on the Tide. I can respect that. No knows that the importance of having the mana to spam the abilities. PL in onto the CM. PL now with the treads done. Knows that they can get away with sort of getting in the face of the CM. I'm starting to reclaim this bottom lane. You know, CS has been good throughout from the PL. So uh, even with sort of the deaths that have happened between them on that bottom lane, I still expect pretty good timing from the defusal. But we will switch over to the net worth. as might be 8 for 4, but pretty even on the overall net worth between these teams. Some bit of movement here for the CM. Starting to turn up the top lane. Recognizing the pressure that the Enigma and Wyvern are trying to put on. Wants to be able to try and hold off. They're even bringing in the Clinks in as well. A mass movement from them. Curse will be used. And they're stepping in. Looking for a black hole. He's got the two of them. And of course, they've not really got anything to stop it. Finally, the Frostbite comes in. The Cold Embrace is there. They go for the duel. But the Cold Embrace will be enough to stop them from getting at least the duel win. They'll get the kill. So, I mean, obviously, even though they don't get the dual victory, Dyer, they're happy with that. That's a, that's a black hole and a Winter's Curse used by Radiant. And doesn't actually get Radiant anything going their way. Other than a series that, uh, of events that it doesn't mean that the Legion doesn't get the bonus damage. But who cares about the bonus damage at this stage? You're getting yourself a kill like that. You're happy. Obviously, leaves bottom lane a little exposed. And Shaman's recognized that. Shaman's come in for the push. Knows that before the action top. A space to be had down bottom. I was like, this this mid shaman knows what he's doing. Good timing with the with the pressure that he's applying. Oh, is that? I like that as well. Viper trying to be a bro, trying to be a bro. He's tried to pass over a mango to the shaman, but it ain't gonna work like that. But the intention, that's you know, you got to get the man kudos for that. And Ravage has been popped. Still trying to push in this wrap around though. Witch Doctor's coming over. Death, Death Ward just straight away. And I, who needs the cask? Who needs the who needs the anything? Just drop down the Death Ward. The job's a good one. Shaman's gone, so's the Venna. They do lose the tower. But uh, a nice just straight. Yeah, no messing around. Take a Death Ward to the face play there from the, the Witch Doctor. Gets them a, a good few kills on the turnaround. Meanwhile, Clinks. With the Shaman gone out of the area, he'll push back. Actually, ends up getting the tier 1 mid before losing their own there. So, so some good objective taken from the, the, the Clink's bottom. Oh, Enigma. Uh, he's looking pretty done for here. Uh, they, they'll chase him out. They are bringing in members of the Shaman and Venna. I don't know. Can they, can they go for anything around this? There's four heroes on the Dyer ready to push back hard and maybe try for the PL kit. PL. Oh, the cask bounces. The setup for the duel. They've got the damage. A successful duel here for the Dyer. And maybe onto the tower as well. Clinks. I mean, they're breathing in the full five man down in Tide. And Witch Dogs are starting to back away. Tide. He's got the money for his arcanes. The boots are going to soon be flying out. We'll see what build this is from the Witch Doctor. Straight for the Perseverance after the boots. Does always feel nice when you're just trying to play for the, the regen. Poor old Crystal Maiden. You know, they're going to need to get a bigger bag here. They're starting to struggle for space. We're seeing bits of everything. Sage's Mark has finished up the Null Talisman at least, but uh, a bit of everything. I like it, though. Making sure that they're never without... They're, they're, yeah, they're, they're going to have an answer for all here. The dust, the smoke. CM is ready to go, ready to play. Another straight Death Ward drop down. Kills off the shell. Great team play here. Tries to save him. The curse has come out. But the heals, nearly enough, actually, to keep the Witch Talks alive. Will still end up going down. Radiant, they'll head over towards the CM. See if they can get a second one out of this. A duel. But the cold embrace. Again, Wyvern with the save. Stopping them taking any physical damage during that duel. Now, onto the tide. Trying to chase for another. It's a bit of a tanky boy here, though. And with the Vlads and the Lifestyle from the Anchor Smash. Can they really push on for this? They're going to try. Have a Lance in. 
Legion healing up the tide, but now the urn comes upon him. They really want this tide kill, but a, a little bit of hold back there from the PL. Knows not to overstep his mark. Gets a little too close to tier two. They'll let the tide go. Some nice restraint there from Radiant, making sure to not overstep the mark, push it a little too far. How's the build going for the Legion after the blink? Looking for the Blade Mouse still. CM, gonna get the urn for the squad. I, I, I like it. No one's got the urn at the moment on the side of the dire. Someone wants to have it. CM's gonna go for it themselves. Clinks going for the Orchid build. A straight Lincolns on the Witch Doctor. I mean, identifying there is a fair bit of single target this game. Lincolns is gonna do a lot. I mean, if we see him make some clutch moves helping out the team with the Lincolns. That's going to be pretty pog. They're trying to go on him. He holds his ground with the Death Ward. The Ravage comes out of what they have. They don't get a hero with the duel. Unfortunate there, but the PL is dead. And maybe even more. They're looking for the Venomancer now as well. Tide is going to have Gush up in a few seconds. See if there's going to be any backup around this tower. Shadow Shaman has got the Serpent Wars ready in 10 seconds if you want to drop it down into die, get aggressive. Clink's already cutting him from the side. DD Rune's about to end, but still could look to dive in onto these two. Let's see. Shaman. Going for the Ags Rush this game. Already halfway there. TP back up coming in. CM's hunting, but Shaman keeping himself well hidden around the trees. Clink's also on the lookout. Oh, here we go. Oh, they're close. Can't quite get the cask out. Gale comes out, but Radiant's still being careful how they poke at the Dire. I, well, I say that. Shaman, he's just gone in straight away with a grab. Clink's. They're going to line up their hits. They've got the duel set up. Duel's back online. Legion heads straight over. Grabs the Shaman. PL trying to push back on the back lines. But the Voodoo Restoration, it's keeping the Witch Doctor alive. We see an ult from the CM used here. Clink's diving over. Chases down the Venomance. It's two dead on the Radiant. They're still trying to get this Witch Doctor. Can they quite finish off Chili Pepper? They can. Viper sends him one final Lance. Takes him down. No TP available, but I mean, the Tide on his own. Not going to be able to do anything to push back the PL. CM, very, very low. Slowly make their way back to the base. Has to, to make sure that they don't head over via the route that passes by the, the PL. Won't be the case. CM, it's got the Tranquils in motion. Knows that they can stay on the map here with that regen kicking in. Now 17-7. to 7, Dire at a 2k lead. Out of all the cores, it's just the Shadow Shaman that's falling a little behind. You know, has had to try sort of play for the objectives. Not the best ways of flash farming this game. Looking for, for sort of all the options to try and fight around and push with the team. Oh, you've got to respect BKB build for the Enigma. And that's going to do a lot. I mean, it, it will be very hard to cancel that black hole. You know, maybe if you find some sort of crazy dual pos positioning. And with the bleak, there's potential. But it's not going to be easy. Very likely to step into the black hole if you do try and attempt those sort of plays. Wyvern. Going for, for, for sort of the focus on the core build-up. Sanjunkaya wants to tank up. Again, that status resistance against sort of these huge AoE sort of with the catch, the reach and, and stuns that they do have. Could come in big. Could give them that extra chance to, to you know turn things around, get the curse off despite being jumped upon. As the rest will be done over the Perseverance, we're still seeing that Lincoln's close, getting closer and closer for the Witch Doctor. Doing this sort of bit of downtime. Blade Mail's finished for the Legion. Already with a plus 20. A healthy plus 20 here at 17 minutes. In bottom lane, CM tries to push out alone. But with the Diffusal Blade, it's done on the PL. This Diffusal PL could cause issues for the Dyer. Maybe hard to hold back the PL. Top lane. PL, you know, he sees heroes, he sees blood. You're going to see this PL try and run people down with the defusal, I know. He's going to want the fight. Orchid's nearly done on the clinks. That's pretty much the big diamond that the die is playing to right now. Continuing to just to tank things up quite nicely. Vlad's over the, uh, and the mechanism now done on the tide. Now, Tide is going to do a, a, have a pretty big impact at keeping his team alive in these, in these fights. So Orchid just being waited upon by the, the Clinks. Over on the Radiant. That's the BKB done. So we could see some huge black holes coming out from Savage for Cal. 
I really could have. The, 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 these black holes. Black hole, Winter's Curse. The team fight, counter, and turnaround from Radiant. It's going to be hard to deal with. Legion's got to get in, get in with some big duels. Tide, as I said with the build, has got the ability to help sustain and turn things. As long as he doesn't get caught out himself in the initial combo. Aggressive drop of the wards here from the Shaman. Looking for the tier 2. The cast set up. And with the Maledict, that's a dead Venno. Or? Oh. Alright, walk away from that one. It, it, it was an attempt. I mean, he was scared. Wants to hold them back. CM still walking into this. Walks into a pretty nasty surprise, though. I mean, maybe reading the action is sort of, hey, curse is down. We can go. We can run at them. Doesn't work out exactly like that, unfortunately, for the CM. They're ready and prepared. Maelstrom next after the Orchid. I'm always happy with the Maelstrom. I don't care who's buying it. What hero it is. Maelstrom is going to do you wonders at this MMR. It's an effective item. It's a good price. You're going to kill people. You're going to kill creeps even quicker as well. No. I'm hoping for the blinks to come out next. We'll see if Enigma is aware and, and wants to go that route. Still, the, uh, the Sanjin Kai build I can get behind as well for the Wyvern. I, do, I, don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Lincoln's rush as well on Witch Doctor is big brain. It is big brain. Oh. The out. Starting off some action. The Maledict. Oh. Witch Doctor. The Maledict. Death fight. This Witch Doctor's done it. Absolutely done it here. And now with the Ravage and some good Death Wards, it's onto the Venno as well. They're going to have enough. It put the Mango. Put the Mango. He does. Mango's popped. He's got it for the gush. These boys, ladies and gentlemen. And I have to say, Witch Doctor's Death Wards, they have been beautiful. A little high five as well between them. They are on a vibe right now, these two. They really are. Lovely Death Ward action here. 2 to 11. Lincoln Sphere Rush complete here by the Witch Doctor 20 minutes in. Brilliant stuff. Aghanim's next for the Enigma. I mean... Uh, I, the blink, honestly, I don't think it is that necessary. BKB is going to be able to walk in, drop down the black hole. Scaling up with the Ags, they're going to have damage for days on the Radiant side. CM, Glimmer, that's a thumbs up from me. Eon Disc, Agonims. It's not bad. It, honestly, this is, these are some of, uh, these, are, these Heralds are great. I think we should up their badges right now. Oh, look, this is some great stuff from both... I don't know which way it's going to go. Sure, it's 20 to 9, but it's only a 4k lead for the Dyer. And you cannot write off how much of an impact the the, 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 the sort of the team fight ultimates of the Radiant can have this game. Making his way towards the Manta here, the PL. And Clinks. On the hunt. You know, wants to kill with this, with this Orchid done. And my goodness, sorry, I'm missing the action. Bottom lane. Looks like we had some clutch stuff here. Legion went in. Wards are dropped. Shaman ends up coming out on top. Or oh, CM. I like it. Trying to get some vision out for the team. But may just cost them their life. I'm going to say, man, I think... What? Well, maybe the... Oh, the Witch Doctor! Or oh, a cast! Maledict! Death Ford! He's done it again! He's absolutely done it again! He's trying to get in for the Black Hole! Oh, no, he casts it! It instantly gets put to a stop! They've got to... They, you got to watch out for the Witch Doctor. What? You can't fight near this man. This man has been pulling off some fantastic moves. And that hurts. That's the Black Hole down the drain. Did it? I, I didn't get the BKB off. I mean, to be fair, fair play, you know, as well, it, it was hard. The cast bounces were there. He was getting, you know, stunned back and forth. I, he, he tries for it, but it needed to get that BKB off first. Oh, goodness. Nice. And, uh, oh. what's he got coming out here, Witch Doctor? He's got the shard. He's got the shard. He says, you know what? If you, did you like these death wards? You're about to get more of them here with the voodoo switcheroo. No, you better run from this man. He's the true carry right now here for the die, I'm telling you. Chili peppers. Watch out for the man. Venno. 
Inferno, well, you better watch out. Death Ward's back up in a few seconds. And when I say Death Ward, I mean, I mean Death Ward. It really is a Death Ward. Gonna try and start on the Witch Doctor. Oh, the Lincolns! It's gonna, it's gonna block the curse. They're gonna, dro they're dropping everything for the man. But he's in with the Voodoo Switcheroo. Should still die here, trapped in the wars. They finally are able to take down the Witch Doctor. I mean, I respect it as well for the Reddit. Throw everything down on the man. You got to. You got to. Sure, the curse gets blocked, but who, who cares? Honestly, if you're just removing the Lincolns with that allowing for follow-up, it's worth it. You've got to kill this Witch Doctor. Any fight that you're letting that man live is probably going to be a fight lost for you. Back on the farm here for the Enigma. Well, they're not going to feel too satisfied with that last play that he had. He did try. Wants to wait for the Black Cold to get back up and uh, ho hopes to have the the Aghanims done for the next move. Full Greaves on the Tide. They're pretty tanky here, the Dire side. It's not easy for the... For, for, even if they do get big team fight combos, there's Venno jumping in a duel here from the Legion. And some more. Oh, maybe even some more here, DD. And Orchid. Is it enough, though? No, it's not going to be quite enough. Tanky enough to walk this one off, and Klinks ends up dying for that. PL's in the neighborhood. Heads in with the defusal. Even playing prepared here. Has the dust on hand. So some good, good awareness from the PL at what he needs to do. As uh, his farm's still solid. Only just behind that of the Tides. And Tide has been cleaning up. 11-0-7. Flawless game so far from the Tide. I'm sticking together as a team here, Radiant. They don't want to be sort of caught out by by the pick-off that Dyer want to go for. But these heroes like the Legion, and uh, as we've seen as well, like the Clinks. Uh, well, last time round, they were prepared quite nicely for the movements of the Clinks, shutting them down like that. It's been a, it's a long road on the Sanjin Kai, bless it. Bless him for the for the wife, and he's nearly there, though. I, I think, in fact, he probably has it. Recipe's probably just uh, taking a time out at the moment on the Courier. And so he'll have to wait an extra minute for that one. Go for the Deso next on the Tide. Amping up the damage. Maelstrom right round the corner for the Clinks. And they want to smoke and go. They've got the Ravage. They've got the Death Ward. And I hope that's an Axe. I hope my man's going for an Axe next. Go all in on the war Death Ward build, honestly. With the Death Wards that he's been able to get off in these fights. That is absolutely the way for this man to play. C mid, CM setting up with the use of the Glimmer Cape. Ivan's gonna look to. Ooh, Gale off the mark! Doesn't, get the, doesn't land it on the CM here, so CM's gonna be fine, and now the rest of the die are starting to move over. They're aware that Radiant's trying to have a bit of a poke mid, and they're ready to hit back. Have to be aware of the BKB Black Hole. We'll see if the, the Enigma can get it off this time. we go. Leading in. Who's going to be the one to make the first jump, though? Tied. He's heading in. He's looking for a Ravage potential. He's closing the gap. Ravage is out. He's caught the four of them. Beautiful uh, move there to get in. They're going to try to jump with the BKB Black Hole. The Serpent Water dropped down as well. Enigma holding his ground for the high ground, but the Greaves are pop. Tide healing back up the CM as CM will be safe for now. The Death Ward's down from the high ground as Venna will step in range. The two dead on the Radiant. They may not even be over yet, Dyer. The good Clinks trying to come in from the side, but the dust is out there from the PL. They'll lose the Clinks. But again, Ray, yeah, Radiant struggling where, with the sustain of the Dyer. It was a good attempt here for the turnaround with the BKB Black Hole from Enigma this time. But uh, not able to control and kill the Tide. Tide gets the Greaves off. And uh, Dyer, sure they lose the Clinks. I mean, he went in pretty aggressively there with a high ground wraparound on his own. A little far away from the rest of the squad. But they don't lose anyone else. PL's just, yeah. PL's still trying to do his best to carry the boys here. Getting the Clinks like that. But the rest of the team still unanswered for. Witch Doctor, halfway through the gold required to have the full axe. As we are here, 26 to 15. 4k lead still for the Dyer. Going for the heart next on the PR. Tanking up real good. Axe also, about halfway on the value there. For the Legion, and there we have it. Enigmas is done. So that... Extra bit of damage would definitely help make the difference in situations like that. That's, uh, oh, hello. 
They have a duel. They're not going to get the kill straight off the bat. So no duel damage, but a kill nonetheless. As they're still sitting on a healthy 40 damage. The Legion. And having a pretty good game overall. I mean, on the KDA, who's really been struggling the most on both teams? CM's been dying the most in the Dire. But uh, look at these assists. You know, th th these deaths have not been uh, worthless deaths. Uh, over on the Radiant, pretty much since the start, the Venno's just been having a... Have, definitely having a tougher time. But still, the build's, the build's solid. Build's solid. Bit of stats here and there. Going for the Veil now after the Vessel. He knows sort of what he needs to do. And he, he's got a fair few Vessel charges. So uh, we'll, we'll see if he finds the avenue to use those aggressively in the team fights. And Enigma. Refresher next. Refresher next here. Go for the two rounds of the BKB. Black holes. Midnight pulses. How's our Ags looking on the, the Witch Doctor? Still, you know, pace has slowed down a bit. I'm going to see the Clinks. Go for the full upgraded Mjolnir. I'll see Venno. I mean, they're back to farming both teams. I mean, both teams, they're going to wait for all their ultimates. You know, they, they, they know to at least play around that. The, the Black Hole in 20 will probably be the call. Are they buying smokes? No, no smokes at least currently on them. Doing a good job with the detection, though. Keeping dust out at uh, all eventualities. Making sure that they don't have these kills slip away from them. The glimmers and with the skeleton walk of the clinks. How's their tower push status looking? I mean, for Radiant, only down... Uh, well, they're down, down two tier ones on the Radiant. Uh, Dire down... Down three tier ones at the moment. So still an avenue for Dyer to start pushing in top if they want to swing over. Radiant themselves actually bringing attention right over towards the tier twos. So they're really starting to force a reaction. Dyer still playing over on Radiant's half of the map. Uh, let's see if they're, they're able to get that creep wave pushed in. Let's see if they just get this tier two for free. Legion, the only one showing any sort of indication of heading over here. But yeah, it's, it's, they're not going to be able to do anything about this. So Radiant, they get the force together. Tower's taken. Heart getting close for this this PL. This PL is going to be pretty hard to take down. Honestly, that there's huge damage output. It's going to be the plays of the Witch Doctor. If Chili Peppers can get off like the Maledict, full Death Ward, especially once the eyes are done. It's a little bit of a quick hide there with the Switcheroo in case the the Black Hole was going to be dropped. I mean, Enigma is trying to get their hands on this Witch Doctor. Heart's oh, blocked by the by the Lincolns. TP coming over from the Shaman. They're, they're going to try and chase these two down. CM's coming over to help the, the retreat of the Tide. And the Witch Doctor. Good use of the slow here, making sure that PL's unlikely to close the gap. The turn with the cast. Does the Witch Doctor want to go with it? He is, again, drops the Death Force straight away. Knows that he's going to have his bro backing him up with the Ravage. Cold Embrace comes out to protect the Venom for now from the Death Ward. They're heading in. BKB Black Hole's out. Three of them caught here. The Enigma finds a beautiful ultimate. As Radiant hold their hold their own here on the high ground. Dust out as well. Clink's just able to make it out to the side. We'll pick up a DD rune. But that's what the Enigma was looking for. Lovely three-man black hole. As Radiant will hold here on this half of the map. Pushing back the Dire. This time round, the Death Ward and the Ravage not quite having the same potency that it's had earlier this game. These cold embraces have been pretty nice here from the Wyvern. Making sure always to be in position to help those... Uh, that are, you know, at least getting gone on, whether it be the duel or the death ward. Sure, he's not always been there, but they did recently now in the last few plays, has been able to save those that have been caught by the jump of the dire. What do we have now in this mid play? Radiant. Pushing in aggressively. Heart. Very much done here on the PL. Clinks has got me on here. We'll, we'll see what, how sort of effective the damage is going to feel from the clinks as CM just TPing straight in. The tier 2's gone. He's able to get away with the glimmer, but venno has got the dust. Switcheroo and Maledict Town to the Shaman on the back lines. Clinks, he's trying to go for the PL, but the PL's able to turn. They've got the hex for the Shaman. That's the clinks gone. Clinks seriously struggling to, to really have that much of an impact. Every time he shows himself, they do close on him quite effectively. Very hard for him to fight back at all. Same time, Wyvern did get taken out. Of course, the bigger loss there for the Dyer, losing their mid-clinks. And what do we have? Is that the... He's got... Yeah, so full heart on PL, level 22. 
Still dire with the slight net worth lead. But uh, I get 30. We're so close in this game. So close. A, a good team fight from either team could take it. And that's what makes these sort of games the most exciting. No doubt about it. There we go. Witch Doctor starting the defense. Pulse is out. Legion. Who's he going to find with the... He's trying to find a target with the duel. He's got the Shaman. And Maledictin as well. There's going to be heavy damage bursting through the Shaman's HP. Now put the poison over. Shaman will die. They get the duel win. Now they'll turn their attention over towards the PL. PL looking for the CM. A CM in with the Glimmer Cape and the ultimate. It means the PL starts to, to have... He has to back off. The Serpent was were down. They did get the tower. PL. Are they actually going to dodge the damage of the CM? It's getting close. Some CM turns with a Frostbite. A PL... He's got the presence, at least, of the Verno, sort of watching from the side. Didn't need to get any hits in any way. PL alone with the Illusions will take down the Crystal Maiden. So, objective taken. Couple of kills as well. Wyvern. It's back out on the map, playing on the top. Going for the Shadow Blade. Knows how important the, the positioning is going to be to get these big ults of all clinks. Or, this could be a juicy Verno. It is indeed. Quick kill to be caught here along the river as the Venno tries their best to escape back to the half of the map. We're very close to the refresher on the Enigma. And uh, not even finding the, the, the space or time or, or need really to drop the, the black hole in that last fight. So these black holes are going to be a huge threat here for the Dyer. Aghanims is done on the Witch Doctor. He hasn't got it out. Bless him. Get it out. Still sat there in the base. Hopefully he'll uh, get that sent out to him ASAP. I think he's trying to get on the hunt, but uh, Cold Embrace putting a stop to his solo endeavours. Basher, next for the, for the PL. I mean, the, the Klink's life is very hard. Klink's has to fight perfectly around the, the sort of the AoE coverage that he's been given from the space of the Ravage. You now, something has to hold back this PL, because every single time, PL has just looked straight for the Klink's in these fights. Roshan. Not really standing too much of a chance here against the PL's army. Dyer, are they going to check Roshan out? It doesn't look like it. And I said, come on, get that, get that Ags out. I want to see the Ags Witch Doctor for the next fight. He's got to get it sent out soon. And there we go into the pit. They go. We're going to see a few refreshers coming. I mean, both the Shaman and the Enigma are going to pretty much have refresher for the next fight. So especially with that Roche Gold, yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah. They're, they're, they're going to have those sent out, I imagine. So a next hit in the team fight. Oh, they've lost the tide. Let's see if we get a pause for him. They, they are going to need the tide for these team fights. The ravages are key. But they will they will not stand a chance without the tide, I don't think. No pauses coming out yet. I mean, as they figure, they're probably like, hey guys, we're not fighting at the moment. We don't need the tide. I'm sure we'll be back. I'm sure. Hopefully he's back. Hopefully he comes back. I wouldn't want to play this game 4 versus 5 if I was the dire. That's for true. I'm looking forward to seeing these double ults. Legion, AC nearly done. Of course, uh, the, the Axe was, uh, sorry, the Aegis was taken by the PL. The Shard on Wyvern coming through as well. On his build. They're going to try for the high ground push. No Tide though, feels bad. Feels pretty bad, they need the Tide. Someone's, is someone going mi to micro maybe? He's got, uh, come on, let's hope the tide gets back in. We're going to have a pause or anything. As their, their high ground's getting sieged. What? Wish Doctor just go for a hit. They drop. Uh, they drop. Oh my goodness. They drop everything. They really do. All right. He just got cursed. Black old. He will die. Or oh, Enigma kind of trapped here by the two rounds of the Serpent Wards as the refresher was used to pop down both of them. CM heading up the Ottoman. Ravage comes out, catches the three of them. They've killed off the Enigma and the Venomancer. They're over to the back lines. The Duel locks down the Wyvern. Three dead on the Radiant. Shaman tries to turn the Shackles. And with the Shackle in the heck, they've got the lockdown to kill off the Legion. Three dead here on the Dyer. I mean, Tide coming back just in time to offer up his, his, his abilities here for the defense. Shaman. Clinks. Oh, is that enough for the Soul Burn? It isn't. A pause coming out from the CM. I'm not sure why. Three dead on both sides, but with the double Serpent Wars dropped top, Radiant, they get the objective. The racks are gone. PL still... I'll see how much he hangs around. He has got the Aegis. So maybe not caring too much about the two of them. Uh, 
as Manta's going to be popped. He's trying to jump. He's got the duck. He's going in for this under the tier fours. A huge aggression, but the Mjolnir using the active as well, getting the shield up, but it doesn't matter. PL fights through it, takes out the clings. He's going to be able to get the CM as well here. Double kill for Viper. As he'll push on, full team wipe. Dyer all dead. That's Radiant. At least the PL is trying for more. Witch Doctor's back in the game. You've got to respect the power of the Witch Doctor. He has got his axe. Let's see how much the PL wants to stick around for this cask. Maledict. Death Ward. The bounces. The bounces. That's a lot of damage with the Maledict. That's a lot of damage with the Maledict. And with the Death Ward, it's too much. That's the PL down the once. He's not going to be able to do it a second time, though, on his own Witch Doctor. And in fact, oh, Switcheroo here to try and dodge the PL, but the PL still jumps in. Looking to get in. Uh, the cast gets back up. Is able to throw it out. Maledict as well. PL's going to be tanking some hits from the tower here, but he doesn't care. Moves in. Poison overdropped as well. They take out the Witch Doctor. Still keeping the pressure on here, Radiant. No signs of them backing off yet. Tide has got the Deso done. No Ravage for 45 seconds. That's this Mibrax. Gonna be in trouble. Clink's back in five. The Radiant... Radiant Herald's doing pretty well here with the objective taking. Shaman. And with the wards, no hesitation. Drops them down. A second set of racks done. He's ready to swing round to the bottom. I mean, 15 seconds, he's going to be able to get another set of serpent wards out as well. What? Oh, I hear it in the duel. There it is. Duel on the Venom. Venom eliminated. But they're losing a third set of racks here. CM chilling in the base. I did, did CM's pretty stacked. He's got the E on this. They've got to get out here, though. There's, there it is. Refresher popped. A second set of Serpent Wards are out. They've been mega creeped. Dyer, what have they got against this? The PL looking to close up the game. We've got Ravage up. The full team is ready. Death Ward is... He's going to drop it. He's going to drop it. He's trying to push them back. Tide heading in with the Ravage. Will actually catch the PL as well as the Wyvern. PL getting pretty low. The Frostbite holding them down. BKB here. The Enigma's heading in. Black Hole is dropped here. He's caught the three of them. But the cast comes out from the side. The PL goes down. The Enigma as well. Dyer have team wiped the Radiant. They may have been mega creeped, but Dyer, they're holding on. They're holding on. They're not ones to back down quite yet. They're holding on strong here in this game. Now, how much can they do when they're dead? I mean, PL doesn't have the money for buyback. 2k short of the buyback. Dyer's going to start going down mid. They got a good push. They do have the double death, so it's a little bit of a disappointment, but it's okay. It's okay. They're just going to push separate lanes. Tide, he's working on the top lane. Clinks, he's going straight down the mid with the death, so. DD Rune is there, but uh, they themselves, yeah, not, not having vision on the area. It'd be lovely here for the objective taking. I mean, good, good call as well. They're bringing in all three lanes. Witch Doctor, even with the bots, to quickly rejoin his teammates on the back of this push. I see Tide. Very close to 25 off for that defense. And what else are we going to have up for the for, for the for the defense? The refresher's ready, so we do have a black hole. And we do have a curse. Dire. There we have it. High ground siege. It's, it's going quickly with the Deso Clinks. The first tier three from Radiant side going down. Witch Doctor, oh, he tried very aggressively, tries to reach him with the Malady. He's not able to get there. Refreshers pop. He's in with the BKB Enigma. He's going to lock down the Black Hole straight onto the Crystal Maiden. Witch Doctor will die to the damage of the Midnight Pulse. Crystal Maiden with the Frostbite holds back the Enigma, but the Malefice is in. Can the Legion do anything to help turn this around? He's going to try. Jumps in with the duel, but the Cold Embrace. Wyvern in with the Clutch save for the Enigma. The Enigma will still end up going down, but they've lost two on the Dire. The Legion's going to try and get his way out of this. They got any further detection? They don't at this stage. No slots for the extra detection. So Legion manages to make it away. They get the melee racks dire. Oh, they actually end up getting the Veno. Veno stepped out a little too far. Looks like Legion got an incredibly quick kill on him. I mean, he's got 220 damage right now, Legion. Oh, buyback. Oh, okay. Buyback coming in. I mean, maybe looking towards the fact that there's two dead on the dire. Maybe Radiant feel that they can just run it down mid themselves. 
Buyback is ready on the Witch Doctor. He himself is only out for 30 seconds. They take the base pretty quick. They're only going to have the one round of Serpent Wards. See if that's enough. The Shaman. Invisarine as well. I mean, he just wants to get in there and drop him. Only a tier 4 left standing here defending the Ancient. Fuse are slow onto the Clinks. Jump in. He can't find the dual target. Ravage is out, though. It's a beautiful two-man Ravage. Shaman down. PL is going to try and fight back against the three of them. He's going to look to get in on top of the Clinks. And Nibla throws out a Midnight Pulse from the side, but he doesn't want to get in on this. PL already falling low. He cannot finish up the Clinks himself. He's outnumbered here on the high ground. As Dyer, they've ended the PL's life. And again, PL not with the money for buyback. PL and Shaman down for over a minute. And what can the Dyer do with this? Double black hole up in 30 seconds. Enigma. Pushing in on his own, though. If they catch him, then how's the buyback status looking for this man? Also a little short on... Oh, well, because no, I guess he, he did just use it, so... Still on cooldown, the Enigma's buyback. DD room for the clinks. Oh, Wyvern. I went up the Shadow Blade. Shadow Blade, Shadow. Yes, Shadow Blade. It's not going to happen today. I mean, this time round, the, 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 the pushing all three lanes is kind of slowing down what they might have been able to achieve here whilst the PL and the Shaman were dead, but that's okay. At least the three of, them, the three of them are grouping together. Clinks. Which Doctor and CM ready to go. What sort of hole can the Radiant come up with? They do have the double black holes. They will have... They're getting close to having two rounds of the Serpent Wards. Benno. Uh-oh. Stepping in. Cask. Maledict. Also the back of the Legion coming over. The Cold Embrace comes into play. Black hole popped by the Enigma. He's going to drop the black hole. It's... He's got a couple of them, but this Death Ward is just destroying him from the low ground. Enigma is out of the game for good. Triple kill for the Witch Doctor. For, I mean, it looks like he's ending this game in incredible style. Four dead. PL, the last man left standing. They've caught him with the stuns. I'm going to believe the cast bounce between the PL and his illusion. As that, that's it. As a team wipe there. 47 to 30. 16, 17k lead. Holding on against the Mega Creeps, even sending back the Clinks and the CM to make sure that they don't lose to the Megas. Dire, they get the victory. My, what a game. What a game, man. Brilliant stuff from both squads. And uh, for, for Guard, I, I honestly, this was a, this was a pretty flipping good Guardian game. I... Sorry, Herald game. Herald, of course. Uh, these are Heralds. These guys were not bad. This was a good game of Dota 2. Really enjoyed the, the, the sort of the enthusiasm they were putting into their plays. Nobody gave up. The builds, sure, some variations on what you expect at the higher levels, but not bad. Uh, and skill usage, it was up there. It really was an entertaining game. I think both teams, I hope so at least, that both teams, all players had a a lot of fun in this one. I certainly had a lot of fun watching it. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we casted a Herald game. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if you want to see more. More sort of cast of the Heralds. Uh, because I'll be happy to do it. I don't know if we'll quite get games that, uh, as played as well as this one was by both sides. But uh, I see it as a win-win. We either get some good Dota 2. We get some clowny Dota 2. We'll see what else there is in the, the Herald bracket. But as it was for this one... The winners here, Black98, 4MMR, Chili Peppers, um, name I can't pronounce, unfortunately, on Clinks, uh, and uh, Joel Con the Tide Hunter. Well played to them all. This win is theirs. I hope to see you all next time, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know if you want to see me cast more Heralds, and uh, I'll see you next time. Be sure to leave a like and a subscribe, of course, if you enjoy the content. Uh, but uh, I'll see you around.